everyone. My name is Steven and today's video, the idea behind it is to share with you guys um, some simple habits and factors that one can integrate into their own daily routine that may contribute to an overall increase in quality of life. And to start things off, I'd like to just share with you guys my own perspective on this. And that is that there are very few things in life that are out of quantitative reach, meaning there's very little out there that you could not describe with numbers. And of those, one that has been eluding human understanding is the idea of how we measure quality of life. And today I want to talk about three things with you that I believe may contribute to an overall increase in quality of life. And the first is the role that your job slash career has on the quality of your life. The second is the role that dentist attendance has on the quality of your life. And the last but certainly not least is the role that family and friends have on the quality of your life. And to kind of explore the first idea, we can kind of imagine a thought experiment where we place ourselves inside the life of someone who is extremely satisfied or passionate with what they do for a living. And they spend most of their day enjoying what they do for work. And it's easy to imagine someone who is satisfied with their career and them leaving the workday feeling happy. And it's also easy to imagine the opposite case where you have someone who may be extremely unsatisfied or just unhappy with what they do for a living. It's not what they wanted to do. It was maybe picked for them or they had no other choice and they were kind of pressured into doing whatever it is they currently do. It's easy to imagine someone like that leaving the workday feeling extremely distressed feeling extremely miserable and just having that attitude overlap with their regular life. And that is not really the ideal case for most people when they imagine how they want their work life to influence their regular life. And to kind of support or back up this claim, there was a article that was put out inside the Academy of Management Journal. And uh, this article talks about how you have job and life satisfactions and the causal analysis of the relationship between the two and the authors conclude in this journal that job satisfaction has a greater influence on life satisfaction than life satisfaction has on job satisfaction which kind of goes to show that if you're happy with your work and you're happy with what you do for a living that will kind of spill over into you being happy in life whereas the vice versa case isn't so likely the second main point I want to make is the role that dentist attendance has on quality of life. And we can also begin with a thought experiment and imagine that someone who has maybe a very confident smile or they have a very clean mouth or, you know, they have no infections or any sort of likelihood for a disease. You can imagine that person kind of going through life feeling less distressed than someone who has the opposite case, which is imagining someone who maybe is not so confident with their you know smile or their mouth or maybe a little bit insecure with you know maybe how they look when they smile or etc cetera, etc cetera. it's easy to imagine someone in that case being unsatisfied with you know just maybe social interactions or social events because they're constantly concerned or thinking about what other people are thinking about their smile or you know constant 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 thoughts and that cycle of thoughts that that person has would make that person overwhelmed and probably a little uncomfortable and not so happy and maybe have them feeling not so good. So to kind of support that claim, there was this um, article that was put out in the um, British Dental Journal in 2017. And the uh, conclusion of this article was that and I'll quote, a central focus of dental care is to improve the quality of life, to increase survival, aka absence of oral cancer, presence of teeth, and it also enables appropriate physical, emotional, and social functioning associated with performing normal roles. So we can kind of easily see how having a orally healthy mouth could contribute to someone's increase in quality of life. And the third main point I want to talk about is the role that family and friends play in quality of life. And it's also, you know, goes without saying that human beings were social creatures. We've 
kind of evolved with the pack, the group, the family, and that when you kind of keep that as a focal point in your life, that that may contribute to a strong uh, feeling of connection. It may increase your quality of life. It could just prevent you from maybe feeling a bit down and blue. There's something with being around people that makes the self feel better. And we can imagine the opposite case too, where you have someone who is maybe prone to isolation or they enjoy being by themselves. In the long run, that this may contribute to just a feeling of isolation and ultimately a feeling of distress and uncomfort, un uncomfort, ah, uncomfortable. It may contribute to a feeling of uncomfortability being by yourself. And I have some claims that could support that um, idea. And that is out of the um, article of the Academy Press. And it goes and says that it focuses the article, it focuses on social support and sometimes synonymously with social networks and social integration. And that when people are integrated into a social bubble or a social group, the increase in quality of life is dramatically noticeable. And so just to summarize the three main points that we talked about today that I believe would contribute to an overall um, increase in quality of life is the role that your career or work has on your life and also the role that dentist attendance has on the quality of life and just seeing the role that family and friends play in the quality of your life. Thank you guys for watching this video.